Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. Last time we did all of Enchanted Towers except for Trick Skater 2. Uh, I'm just gonna keep trying till I can do it and I'm going to edit out most of my footage. Um, <laughs> because it's gonna take me a while and it's not gonna be very interesting. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll keep this intro, I'll just, uh, keep the camera still for a little bit to remind me that this is where the intro is, I suppose. Uh, there we go. And now I'm just gonna give this a shot. And I'm gonna keep trying till I get it, and then I'm gonna edit it down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello. Ready to try some one -on -one. Wanna try a freestyle competition for points? No, but I know I need to. Alright. Whoever scores Oh god. I'm gonna do any tricks, what's happening? Oh my goodness gracious me. Sometimes it doesn't let me do, do any tricks at all. I don't understand why. Um... Have I forgotten some of the buttons I need to be using? Yeah, you can see that I'm getting my butt kicked here. Uh, this is not going well. spins but I'm not getting any points for them well there's no shame in losing to the all right oh what am I doing wrong here You normally get a little bit of points just for jumping like that, but you don't in this version. Like in a Tony Hawk or whatever, you totally get points for that. Granted, in Tony Hawk you can make combos and you can grind and stuff. This is not a real skating game. This is an annoying facsimile of a skating game. So you have to do as many different tricks as possible to get the most points, I think. And landing it is just like really weird and confusing. Oh, okay, let's another try.
Oh, that one worked. Well, there's no oh, close. All right. Okay. 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 head start at least, that's something. Okay, we go this way. <sighs> I don't understand how landing works. Like, it's, it's just seems arbitrary. Okay, 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 okay. I said I was going to edit this out, but it's only been like six minutes, so I don't think I will. I think I just figured it out. <laughs> Okay. It's a, it's still a lot more unintuitive than it should be. It is very annoying, but once you get the hang of it, it is not as hard as it first appears. There you go. Another thousand points for me. I can't believe it. How did you get so good already? I mean, I cheated. Maybe someday you'll even break my course record. <laughs> nah. Anyway, I guess I should give you this other egg I found. I was gonna keep it for a pet, but I can't get it to hatch. Um, you know those are the dragon eggs that were stolen from my land, right? Like, you you, you probably should give give it back to the dragons. You shouldn't you shouldn't keep children as hostages. Hey, Alex. Okay, we are done here. Good for us. I don't want to give up, I just want to exit. But why is there still a time limit? What's going on? Okay. Enchanted Tower's done. Uh, I was expecting to do like a montage of me, you know, crashing over and over for like a few minutes and just make that the first bit of the video, but I managed to do it a lot more easily than I expected, so there you have it. <laughs> Let's actually go to another level. Eventually. Oh, cutscene. Fifo, fifo, fum. Oh, well, oh, shoot. Fiddly fo, bro. Gabling, gablo, gabble. Kidding, right? She nearly toasted you. Yeah, but she was aiming at you. <laughs> oh no. That's it. Free fire on it. <laughs> uh, 
Thanks. No problem. It's a good thing for you Hunter was around. I can look after myself. Oh, sure you can. <laughs> Would you like me to show you? Uh... Out of magic, huh? How about I give you a jump start? <laughs> I'll deal with you later. <laughs> hey, why'd you have to scare her off? I guess we're sort of making friends with Bianca? So sort of? <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know what to make of that. That was a bit, that was weird. Seems like we're being kind of rude to her, honestly. Uh, let me see, where else do we need to go? Dragon Bird's base and Enchanted Towers are the only places we've been so far. Let's try the spooky swamp over here. I don't know anything about these levels, like, I don't know if they're going to be really annoying or whatever. Let's find out. Here, spooky swamp. Let's get collecting. Your friend? Data was mean. I thought I was a gunner. Thanks for saving me. Uh, okay. Is that French? Are you French? I'm not sure I get what they were going for with these characters, but okay. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of dark in these areas. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. Since you start the game with the head bonk in this one, it doesn't super make sense to have those like target like thingies to think about it, but eh, no big deal. I suppose they had these in the first game and you already, you know, had a charge during the game so they weren't unlockable moves. So it does make sense to keep the target practice ones as well. Okay, there's a locked chest, so there's gonna be a key around somewhere. I'm not sure I, I don't I don't think I know why like the guys the guy at the front was was French. I I'm not really understanding like what they're going for. I'm just thinking about it like this sort of swamp with like alligators and stuff. I'm thinking about like Florida. <laughs> but that doesn't really fit with like a a, a French guy. I, I don't I don't know. <laughs> uh it's confusing. I mean, I assume there are people who are French in Florida, a bit. you get what I mean. Uh, an egg just here, or just... there we go. Oh, it's Michael! Hi, Michael. Glad to have rescued you, Michael.
Are they alligators or crocodiles? I don't remember. Like, I assume both of those live in fairly swampy areas, from what I can remember, but... Hmm. I'm not sure what this particular swampy area is meant to be, so... I keep lighting these candles, so I don't really know why. I'm not sure what I'm achieving by doing this. There are apparently four of them, but I don't I don't know what they do. <laughs> so oop. hang on. Let me get on the side here. Ah, I think I can get on the side there. That's weird. Okay, it looks like there's a ledge, but I think you're able to get to it. Oh, the water has piranha in it, that's why I can't swim in it in this area. I, I was playing like at Spyro 1, I forgot that you can swim in this game. <laughs> uh, hey, money man. The door is jammed shut. Only the power of gems can hope to move it. <laughs> no, your haiku poetry stinks. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can... You've made a wise choice. It will mean more eggs for you. And more gems for me. Best of all, Spyro, I can stop speaking haiku. What a sweet relief. What, why are you speaking in haiku in the first place? I, I don't get it. Is that a, something to do with the fact that we're in a swamp? Is it a Florida thing? I, <laughs> I'm not make, getting the connection. Oh, I'm just really confused as to what they were trying to do here. Oh, you're another friend. A brave dragon, much braver than I by far. Here, take this darn egg. Uh, thanks. You're also speaking in haiku. I just noticed. I don't know why. <laughs> I have many questions. <laughs> uh, yeah, you fly around. Oh, that opens the uh, Illuminati door. Okay. Definitely something I was trying to do. I don't know where that door is. Is that it over there? No, that's a different Illuminati door. Frank. Oh, you okay? You alright there? Seem to be a cartoon. Yeah, I had a feeling I couldn't do that. Okay, you can actually go in the water without getting hurt. I assume you get bit like after a couple of seconds or something. Oh, this is the Illuminati door I opened earlier. Hello. The tea lamps are lit. Now I'll tell you the secret of what's in this house. A creepy wizard lives inside but hates the light. He has awoken. A swore to destroy whoever lights the tea lamps. But they're using me. Does anyone else associate French fireflies with haiku swamps in Florida? <laughs> I'm just not- I'm just not seeing the connection here. Oh jeez, uh, uh, there's a Sheila section over here, which is okay because we do have Sheila in our party. We can enlist her help if we so desire. Um, yeah, let's- let's go visit the wizard. 
Hey wizard, uh, can I look onto you or something? Oh, do I need to charge them before they go off or something? So it goes back, hits him, something like that. I wish you'd have listened to the guy talking in haiku instead of questioning why he was talking in haiku. Yep, that works. Okay. Just let it finish bouncing first, just seems to be the important thing. Are you gonna change up your attacks at all, or is this just what you do? That's what he does. Got an egg. We're impressed, Herbie. Oh, we, we're done out there. Um, where else do we need to go? I guess I'll do the shale section because it's right here. This swamp smells so sweet. The springtime trees are fragrant. I'm off to kick butt. Why is everyone talking in IQ in this level? I don't get it. <laughs> oh yeah, Sheila's controls are weird. It's like zero momentum in mid air. I don't know why it's like that. It's very weird. Hello. We have the bombs here. We must destroy the egg cage. But we just go boom. Kangaroo can help. You can clear the path for us. Will Sheila help us? Yeah, I love your freestyle haiku. Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh. Ow! I went boom again. Big. Yes. It I forget how to stomp on the mushrooms. What button is that? Ow! I went boom again. We will be. It looks like the rocks don't respawn, so I could probably just let them keep getting blown up over and over. Which would be kind of funny. Oh right, it's like that. It's the same as Spyro's ground pandy move. Okay. I'm gonna just go through and do everything before they get before I set them off in the first place. Get everything out of the way. Oh, I see. The mushrooms pop back up. I see the problem. Yeah, I can keep grabbing stuff as I go anyway. And there'll be less stuff to worry about when I actually get around to escorting them through. I 
okay, and I assume that cage at the end with the egg in it is where we get once we've managed to- Whoa! Once we escort them all the way through, we get to that cage and we can get the egg out, I assume. Possibly that cage. I don't know, there's two. Anyway. Ah. <sighs> Here. We must oh right, they're destroying the egg cage. Yeah, I need to listen to these people. I'm not sure why they're following the path, given that they're fireflies and can presumably just fly there. I do this twice, don't I? Because there's two of them and each one has a bomb. Oh my god. I don't know why they gave Sheila like zero horizontal momentum in the air. It's real bad. <sighs> Escort mission. Where are you going? <laughs> Why did you go that way? I have to do a montage of this. <sighs> Don't run into the mushroom. Oh my god. I have no idea if this one's on the path or not. Very vague. Okay, 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 where are you going now? You're going over there, okay. Uh. 
You're the worst. Stop talking. Shayla's just bad at everything. Why does she have such terrible control? What is the point? <sighs> I'm trying my hardest. Did I do this too quickly? Is it gonna fuck him over? Yes. Why can't you slam it back down when it's wiggling? Ow. Like, you should be able to just, like, reset the timer or something. But you can't. It just pops up and, and then, then you, you die and it resets. Again. go up while he's over the other side, so I need it to cross over and then down again and then I can go over here. Okay, 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 okay. did it. Hey Peggy. I like your bow. One egg cage remains. Will you now help my brother to free the last egg? Alright. If you clear my path, I can blow up the egg cage. Poor, poor captive eggs. Yes, it's Okay, is it the same route as before or is it different? Okay, it looks like it's sort of the same route. Also not. Where are you going? I guess you're just supposed to use trial and error because he doesn't follow the path or anything. You just have to guess what he's going to do. Because <sighs> again, he didn't go on that one. Went near that one, but didn't actually... This one? No. This one? Okay, and then he loops around and goes for, I think, that middle one. This one. Yes. Oh, now he went to the other one. Okay. Yeah, it seems like the only way to do this is trial and error, and I don't understand why they would design it like that, because that's not good <laughs> or fun. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, we're gonna finish this up, and then we're gonna play something else. <laughs> Let me get ahead of you so I can smash down the mushrooms. Come on. Come on, dude. Okay, he loops around there. He goes for this one. 
I need to lower this, and then this one. What's happened? <sighs> it's not fun design. It's not, it's not good. It's not good or fun. Let's lower this one first. Just in time. There we go. Then this one. You can get on top of it. Looks like it might be that one, but it's not. This game is messing with you. And this one. Then blow up the cage. Okay. <sighs> okay, there we go. Like your bow, Michelle. The eggs are all free. Two dragons are born today. Sheila's my hero. Why are you talking like that? How do I get to those gems I was seeing? Are they just not in the Sheila area? Circling this way. Hmm. Does that just mean leave? Because it, it might. Do you want to go up there maybe? There's like a ledge. Oh, hello. Another one over here somewhere? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there we go. Yep, yep, here we go. Lots of treasure. Lots of treasure. Right now, Sparks. I think that's the one that's back here. How do I get to that? I think Sparks is not telling me to leave. Okay. Is there anything else in this in this box? Hmm. Remember seeing a gem behind one of these gates? I don't think I have yet. But there's this one. Oh no, no, I've got it. Alright, I guess we're done in here. I assume Sparks are trying to point past the door instead of into it. But the limited uh, nature of pointing in a direction is getting the better of him. <laughs> okay, let's just grab the last little bit of treasure and we should be done. Yeah. Do you want to go up there? Can I go up there? Onto these ones? Looks like no. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. Oh. Eat the butterfly. Eat the another butterfly. Okay. Finding the wizard wasn't too bad, I'm not sure why that part with Sheila was so annoying. I mean, I, I am sure why, it was, it was all trial and error. 
but there you go. Uh... I'm just retracing my steps so I can get back up at the moment. There we go. Now we're here. I'm gonna glide to this platform. <sighs> That's not what I wanted to do, Spyro. I think you know that. I think you know that you're messing with me. I'm sure I saw a twirly whirly to help you get back up quicker, but I haven't been able to find it since noticing it's there. That's the twirly whirly. No idea. Guess we'll just go through the level again. N normally. <laughs> oh, jeez. At least if falling in the water doesn't directly damage you, so it's not quite as annoying as the water in Spyro 1. Even though it's got a similar idea going on. Seriously, if anyone knows why there's so much haiku in, like, a swamp, please let me know, because I don't understand it. I, I, just, I just don't see the connection. Right away over there? Sure I can. He is mine. Uh, there's also some treasure over there, which I want. Can I reach that? Sure, I hope so. Nope. Ah, uh, alright. It'd be nice if I could find that whirlwind that's supposed to help you get back up, because I keep needing to get back up. <laughs> If I imagined it, but also that the rain was a whirlwind, but I'm pretty sure I saw one. Ah, 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 ah. There's a shortcut there, at least. One gem there. Okay, now where's that treasure chest? Down this way? Oh, that's not a treasure chest, but that's still helpful. Fire, what are you doing? Oh god. <laughs> okay, there's the chest. Let me just open that up. Okay. 100% <laughs> level complete. <laughs> that that was a thing. That was a bit of a chaotic adventure there. Okay, off we go. Oh, so uh, that was the Buki Swamp, I think was the name. I hope you enjoyed being spooked. <laughs> <sighs> I kind of ran a bit over time because I tried to do the skating challenge thing and then I had to do another whole level. But yeah, that's alright. 
Next time we'll do another level of the Midday Gardens. But that's it for now. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed and uh, Spyro is wearing some pretty sweet shades. And I guess I'll have a quick look around and figure out what the next level is before. Okay, there's one called Bamboo Terrace. I guess we'll go there next. Uh, and over here there's a Super Flame. Actually, I already used this for something, but I don't remember what. Um, here's Country Spe oh, Speedway. No, we're not going there. But we're going to the Bamboo Terrace. There's another Sparks sign here. Okay, I assume that'll unlock once we get to the third world. I assume there was some treasure up here that I've already got. Okay, so yeah, next time we'll be checking out Bamboo Terrace. Is... Can I go in here? No. That would have been cool. Uh, Bamboo Terrace is over here. We'll go there next time. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! <laughs> What's that place called again? Just so I can record the... Write it down on the name of the video. Spooky Swamp. Okay, cool. Bye! <laughs>